I don't get in arguments because the Bible is simple to understand. So if you're claiming to be a Christian and you're going to argue with the Word of God, what am I going to add to that <laughs> if you're going to argue with God himself? Now you might say, but I don't know, Michael, it's pretty confusing, the Bible. It's only confusing because of what you've been taught, because what you've been taught is not what it's saying. So let's look at a couple of examples. One of the controversies is miracles, healing, signs and wonders, the supernatural. So here we find the signs of a believer. They do supernatural things. Take a look. Paul confirms this about testing out some new teachers. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. So that becomes a problem for the high and mighty religious leaders of our day. So how are they going to get around that one? Okay, let's take one group that love to mix a little bit of pagan Greek philosophy in with their Christianity. And a lot of times they have a problem with the supernatural things because that doesn't re really line up with Greek philosophy. So what they say is, hmm, hey, I know we'll call these things the sign gifts. And since none of our people or pastors are seeing them, we'll say they must have passed away. So then you go back and read those scriptures that I just showed, and, uh, among others. And you're confused. So then you go to another church that claims to believe on all these things. He's like, wait, man, I saw that in the Bible. And you don't see the signs and wonders happening there. So what's the problem there? Uh, they may come up with their own words and meanings. Like, oh, you don't, I don't have that anointing, brother. You have to go find somebody with that particular anointing or that gifting. But, oh, I've got the gift of teaching. I've got that anointing. So come to my church and just listen to me talk about things that uh, I can't do. Now, these two groups, they'll argue with each other all day. But again, the net result is none of them are doing squat as far as supernatural signs are concerned. So what does the Bible say to do with such people? Does it say sit around and hold their hand and argue with them forever? doesn't mean we don't love them and pray for them. doesn't mean that at all. Another big thing is this Torah observant or trying to mix Judaism with Christianity in some way. The New Testament warns against this 50 gazillion times. In fact, there's a whole book of the Bible specifically written against this. <laughs> so if you've claimed to read the Bible and you've read this whole book uh, that's written against the very practice that you're doing, and you've justified somehow, what am I going to add? Here's why I don't argue with non-believers and atheists. Right here. Just as a little bonus, so if people that claim to be in the church are hating you too, hmm. so if you follow and manifest Christ, then these things are going to happen. We might call them more signs of a believer. And who was doing these things to Jesus and the prophets? The religious people. 